Well, hi, I'm Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified and the QI Macros. I recently had a, an improvement insight about how they were burning down the capital of Scandinavia repeatedly until the king said, thou shalt build thy buildings out of stone. And so that stopped the fire problem. Uh, but I discovered there was a 60 Minutes uh, article this recent Sunday, and they were talking about Holland. And back in the 50s, there was a massive flood and tore down a lot of barriers because a lot of Holland is below sea level. And so the, the Dutch decided it would be a good idea to figure out how to mistake-proof flooding. And so there was, what they've started to do is actually <clears throat> create it so that they can manage floodwaters. And so where back in 2013, where most of Europe was suffering significant flooding, and my wife and I had been in some little town, and it had along the, the, the side of the building the dates and times of the highest floods. And so here was 2013, and the previous one was 1512, and there was a whole bunch of little ones, but 2013 was a big year, right? And it was probably 20 some odd feet off the ground, which meant all of the buildings were flooded at that level. Now, all of that water flows out of Germany and other places and flows into Holland. And so the Dutch had been building since the 50s uh, places to divert water and get it off to places where it wouldn't threaten people. And sometimes you had to move people around to make all that work. Uh, but what they've done is systematically set it up so they could manage all these floodwaters. And very often that's what the windmills were for, was not just to grind things, but actually to divert water from one river into another area where uh, it wouldn't cause flooding. So they've been doing this since the 1500s. So that's a type of mistake proofing, isn't it? So they just decided, hey, you know, let's, let's stop all this nonsense. Let's prevent flooding. And so in 2013, when the floodwaters came down, guess what? The Dutch just diverted all the water and had no floods. How's that possible? Well, it takes a lot of thinking forward. And in Rotterdam, they'd created some, some storm barriers that literally these things will close on the port and keep floodwaters out, you know, the storm surge from coming in. And they asked the guy who's in charge of all this stuff, well, how much did that cost? He said, well, about a half a billion dollars. And he said, well, that's a lot of money to spend on this. He said, well, you know, you, you spent 70 million on Hurricane Sandy and 90 million on Katrina. You know, maybe you should get smart about how do we manage storms, storm surge, water management, and everything like that. And so I thought this was a very interesting point for Holland. It's not fire, it's flood. But what did they do? They said, well, let's mistake-proof that. Let's find ways to divert water out of, off of the river into lower-lying areas, which, you know, aren't really, they don't care if, if we put some water out in here. Maybe that's a smart idea. So... Mistake proofing, it may cost you some money, but it'll prevent a ton of costs later on. All right, so it doesn't matter whether you're, you know, working with uh, patients or pistons or whatever it is, how can you mistake proof the kinds of problems that can occur, right? So that's my improvement insight for this week. Let's create a hassle-free America. Let's create a hassle-free world. Let's go out and improve something this week.